¿Qué rollo con el Puma Majority Seekers? Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm really excited to be filming this video as well because you know what? I'm always excited to film videos, but there's just certain um in those videos. Pasan, what the hell? Miren esta madre. Look at that thing. Pinche carro de los 30, yo creo. That's badass. Un clásico. Um, what was I saying before I got distracted? Um, oh, that I'm always excited to film videos, but sometimes pass on a little bit more interesting things in videos in certain vlogs for example like right now we're finally picking up the 2020 yeah yeah pasadito de un mes i want to say un mes and like 20 days to be exact you know but we haven't been in a rush because just as adios, we have a we have more than one truck so you know so no nos hace falta but it was, it's always exciting to to have your truck um back from a shop because obviously it has something new you know but we're going to be picking up the our 2020 from my boy shop gomez jobs and we're already here i'm looking at the shop right now luckily aquí está una troca tapando my truck so you guys are going to get my reaction pero pues yeah man i'm really excited because as you guys know those intro wheels i've got them about a year and and six months you know and pues i know my store 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 you know i haven't been able to make it happen because shops are super expensive or whatever but i put the pills i was like you know what and then i started playing games i traje la troca in a couple vlogs back imagine when i first bought this truck ya tenía yo una vision of como la quería la troca que se mirara y hasta ahorita se me hizo realidad ya van two, two years para two years que me compré la troca ya va para year and a half que compré las que compré las wheels you know pero pues we finally made it happen and it's, that's all that matters you know todo lo que cuenta que andamos con el compa Lalo Hopefully we can get his reaction as well. And we came in the in the green truck right now because Lalo's are like, let's go drive in two brand new trucks both on intro wheels. So yeah, hit it. Aquí está esta. You know, this truck is badass too, man. Honestly, I love it. Y aquí está la truck, le digo que está tapando. Aquí está el shop. And here is the freaking truck. ¿Qué dice John, cómo anda? Eh, ¿Qué piensas de la troca? Chingona. Chingona, ahí quedó. Yeah. ¿Su troca está? Yeah. Órale. Oh, Jerry, mucho gusto. Mucho. ¿Se le quema llanta? A veces, porque pues miro que trae los tickets del JP. JP. Yeah, Órale. Cada, cada vez, every time you're on a, on a sick one, huh? How drunk? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, dang, guys. This just looks like a whole different truck. And honestly, those don't even look like 28s, if you ask me. I think because it's not really tucking them, honestly, I, I fuck with the stance. No es mucho, it's not too high and it's not too low. I think it's just perfect. Look at this. And they went ahead and powder coated the the links, which is cool. And then, as I mentioned, we weren't gonna do the tubs and doghouse just yet. But look at that. These things are wide. Looks amazing, dude. Look at all that freshly painted. Ahí con el placazo del compa Gomez Drops. Y pues aquí shout out to sponsors Alden American. Thank you guys. If you guys are wondering what kind of shocks those are. So I'm bien entiendo los Alden American shocks. Make sure you guys check them out. Shout out to mi compa Jimmy Hook. Just up with those. Aquí pusieron el placazo de Gomez Drops. Para que sepa que no se hizo el jale. And damn, look at this. Man, them wheels are freaking sick. And what I like about these wheels, pues siempre les digo pues. I was always like telling you guys when I had them just in my garage sitting okay these have a concave so this is the first concave set that I ever have but look aquí esto ya estaba aquí medio medio pandeado no vayan a pensar que lo hizo el shop before it was lower when I had my other wheels that pegó aquí pero what I most like es lo que le dije yo también a mi compa Gomez que I didn't want to shave this down because I feel que I feel like it, it, it's not that reinforced and that's what happened on my green check I'll show you guys right now they shaved it down and on this one I told them you know I didn't want to do that because I want this super, super hard. He pushed it floppy. And I'm pretty sure we could still go lower if we want, but I'm telling you guys, I think this dance is just clean. And then in the front as well. It's not too low either. It's not too low. It's just like perfect. It still has a little bit of gap. You see, it can go more, but I'll see. But as of now, I'm digging it. And you guys already see that, pues aquí. I got these mirrors a while back because I already knew I was gonna do all this and I knew it was gonna blend in because I wanted a little bit of chrome just with the same with the grill and with this little lower valance. The only thing that I think I'm gonna do next is just add a little bit of chrome, maybe the handles. But that's about it, man. Up next, what we're gonna be doing is gonna be the interior. Interior because this thing needs some help. 
and then I think we're gonna be doing a system. Maybe some star, I mean a system, I mean the sunroof and some star headlights. And then also, um, we're gonna be closing this with the tubs and doghouse. And we're gonna be, I'm gonna be painting the tubs and doghouse the same color as the truck because I love the color. And then the rest I think is gonna be um, Rhino Liner Black. But yeah, when I, as soon as I first bought this truck, my vision was to the hala just like this. Man, this is crazy. Really, really freaking crazy with this. All right, my Jerry Tinker, so we just left the shop. I mean, right before I left, we actually went for a test shot with my boy. Me quería enseñar que pues todo anda jalando al 100. No quiere que me vaya yo y luego pase algo, luego que le chido las culpas, you know? Even though um, he's giving me warranty for all the work he did, he says that if something ever happens, que se la traiga. Y de volada se arregla el problema. Pero dice que pues everything, everything should be good. There should be none of that, you know? which is really, really good, especially when they give you warranty and makes you feel super safe, you know? Um, pero pues ya, we just left and we're on our way home right now. Pues aquí la vengo usando y por la neta, this truck runs. It, run, it runs amazing, como si, pues if it, it still had stock parts, you know? You can't even tell que, pues que le metí mano, pues yo te lo voy a enseñar para que miren. Aquí vengo en el freeway y le estoy metiendo pata hasta fondo también para que miren, pues también no. I want you guys to think it shakes or whatever, but you can't drive fast or whatever. And honestly, for these wheels being 28s, Man, this thing drives smooth. La neta, esta troca corre hasta más chingón que I think when it has stocks, you know? Like, honestly, I'm not even kidding. Eden. Eden, aquí vengo, eh. I'm hitting 63. Que me tele pata al fondo. Más que no quiero pegarle a alguien, eh. Pero aquí vamos a ir, vamos a 70. Ya vamos a 80. But I don't want to go too fast because allá viene el compa Lalo atrás. No le dije que I was going to record. son para mí troca rápida sí una chevy silverado rumbo por aquí en el barrio tengo metas altas billete a duplicar right, ladies and gentlemen so aquí seguimos continuing the vlog so as you guys can see aquí tenemos a las tubs y atrás tengo las doghouse I purchased this igual ya lleva rato antes que compraba yo los rines que uso like a year and a half, y los, tra los traigo de mi old house también, and they just been stored in my garage. Pero pues, como les sigo diciendo, these are different ones, since this is a brand new truck, and it has like a crazy setup. Um, I wanted to be different and stand out. No más como le digo, I I've been having these, I've been having these, and since it rains every here and there, como que les quería agarrar un poco de rust, and it's my fault for not priming them or putting them inside, you know? But it's, it's easy, you know, I'm not going to sand down and put the primer them. So I'm telling you guys, the difference between these is all other tubs, they're just Flush, so I just, just, yeah, flush. I got them from Phoenix. Um, I want to go pick them up when I was out there for a truck show. It's like 3D, it's popped out from the inside. It was, los dimples. And this is very common, you know, a lot of trucks have this, like my green truck. Pero también aquí este está popped up a little bit. Igual con esta, igual with the, with the middle doghouse. That one, it has the same thing. It has this one popped up with the dimples and then the top has a bad as a sign. Let me show you guys. So look at this one, here it is. Same thing, this one has the, the 3D kind of effect to it. It's kind of hard to see it because of the rust. But pues ahí está, and then aquí también están los dimples. Which is really, really, really good. The only bad thing is I think we already ran into a problem when I ordered these. I kind of just ordered them, kind of just hoping they would fit. I didn't really take measurements or think that they wouldn't fit. So that might be my mistake, but it was, um, I don't know if they're gonna be able to work or not. I'm really crossing my fingers and hope they can do something about it. Because like I said, I really want this stuff because it's something different. And I think it'll go really, really good with the truck, you know? But it, was, it killed kind of my vibe. I was really, really excited to go jump off the truck right out of the shop. But I'm just like, damn, hopefully he can do something. So we're gonna go over there right now and talk to him, but I'm gonna show you guys exactly what I mean, check it out. So we got this one, we put it in the middle, right? Kind of like that. I had another one for one of my trucks, but the step notch was much taller. So the problem we were having is this one was hitting this one. But in this case, these trucks, the step notch is still lower. 
So this one, it fits. Fits really, really good. Now when we try to, when we try to put the, they fit, right? Same thing with this one. See, just like that, sobrepuestas, they already look nice, man. So I am excited that they can make it fit. You see? It looks like it fits, but aquí, tengo como a dedo and a half. It's supposed to touch all the way. So once they weld that down, they weld this to this. But man, if I scoot it over, I can put a finger on each side right here. That's off, so they should be all the way. The only way that maybe we might be able to do something is if we could like push these in, in there, and then like try to add like another little bit more of uh, material. Just, you know, so these touch, that's my biggest concern. But I really don't know, this is my first truck. This is the first time I own a truck like this. And there's not too many like this out in the street. And I don't want to say I'm the first either. Pero pues, I think that might be a problem. But let's just go ahead and take it to my boy Fresh Outline, who's going to be installing these. And hopefully he could, um, he could give us an opinion or, or, or see what's up. But another thing is I'm going to go ahead and take this off again. I'm going to show you guys a little bit from up close the work because I kind of just recorded it from far. And I want you guys to see how se are going the welds and pues todo el jale que le hicieron el four link. So. So here we have it, ya saben, mi compa Gomez Jobs, por si lo quieren a seguir ahí en Instagram, él es el que se aventó el jale, but look at this, this was already here, the step notch, my boy Twisted Metals got it done, pero pues this bar wasn't there, también mi compa Gomez se lo aventó, he's in nicely welded, también aquí con los shocks, y pues le hizo las, las brackets, shout out to the boys from Alden American as I mentioned, y aquí está one of the links que viene siendo for folding, y allá está el otro, usually what they do is they put them right on top of each other, so, dos y dos, pero este four link is different on this truck. Aquí está un link, allá está el otro. Igual aquí, aquí está un link, y allá está el otro. Y fíjense, this is a differential, which shorten de aquí para allá. So, it's a lot more skinnier. Y luego, this is, I forget what this one's called. This is just like the wise bone, algo así se le dice. Este es, más, este es como para support, you know. Pero pues, yeah. Así nomás quedó este jale. And shout out to the boys for powder coating it. That wasn't included, pero mi compa included it for us. So se mira bien chingón. La neta, I wouldn't mind driving it around like this, showing off our work. Nomás que pues, pues ya tengo aquí el material, so why not go ahead and put it on. And like this, se ve un poco scary too, you know? And you can't really hold groceries in the back or whatever. Pero pues ahí va. So again, this is what it looks like right here. You could see the, the links. One of them ahí está. Luego el otro, no sé si se vea. Ahí hasta arriba. And then se ve más mejor ya covered. With the tubs. And this is what it's going to look like, si es que queda. Which makes a big difference. Looks really, really nice. Now imagine all of this painted the same as the truck. And then the rest with black bed liner. I think that would look killer. But pues yeah, ahora sí, let's go to the shop and let's go pick up the, the LED flag truck, la OG. So we just got back from dropping off the 2020 and we picked up um, la LED flag. Because if you guys didn't know, we went to the same shot. Shout out to my boy Fresh Outline for always coming in clutch. Me arregló el problema que teníamos on the, on the OG. So había quebrado one of the welds for the shocks. Y pues les voy a enseñar que ya quedó, ya se arregló el problema. Nomás que hubo un problema. I forgot that the truck was freaking loaded full with our old tires and our leaf springs from our 2020. Y se que venía well, we, well, right now we're only able to bring two wheels. Y dejé otras two and then the stocks over there because they didn't fit. So we're just gonna be going back over there and picking up the and picking up the rest of the wheels another day or I mean when I go pick up that 2020. I got really good news on the 2020, man. You guys are gonna be just as excited as me. Pero fíjense. So aquí están, como les digo, these are the only ones that we were able to pick up. Two of them, faltan otras dos. Y luego las spare, aquí están las leaf springs. Both of them. And man, check it out. Se me había olvidado. These are our old parts. I forgot que mi boy me había dicho que mejor le iba a poner some new ones because when he went ahead and did my... Más que la verdad tengo aquí un cochinero. En el radio un cochinero. Se me había olvidado that my boy me dijo que these are some of the parts that he was really starting off with, pero se dio cuenta que these weren't really cutting it. So he upgraded. And instead of just leaving these old ones because these, these had to do nothing, Well, lo que se había quebrado, aquí arriba es donde se había quebrado, 
Pero siempre les digo que he goes above and beyond out of his way. Le puso brand new ones. Look, I don't know if you guys can see them. Ahora tiene ya, son de dos. Son de dos brackets y este nomás era de uno. Ya ven, so por eso es que se quebró. Pero me los dejo aquí de recuerdito. Ahí si alguien los ocupa, los quiere. Let me know what's happening. No, no se crean. But yeah, this is what, aquí se había quebrado. And this was what was hanging. Pero ahí quedó, you guys can see them. Both of them fixed. Level brand new brackets. No más que este truck todavía es un project truck. We should have just went ahead and put the tubs in doghouse since it was already there, you know. Pero es que tengo bien muchas trocas que la neta es mucho dinero and, and a lot of work, you know. So I'm taking it little by little. Yeah, but I think the next vlog you guys should see. Um, we're gonna be dropping off this truck for a brand new paint job. Pero lo más importante es que ya quedó and it's it's riding good again. So shout out to him. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and pump gas because I think we're gonna go ahead and drop this one off. Um, to the paint job actually tomorrow, but you guys might be seeing it in a different later vlog. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So I can chale gas ahorita de noche para que mañana en la mañana ya esté lista. Y jones, so I just got home y se me acaba de olvidar the most important part about the 2020. So my boyfriend Shala me dijo que to not worry about it, don't stress it, que he's gonna work his magic, he's gonna get all that situated, I'm gonna be able to use those parts, which is a yay, you know. Not only that, pero se me había olvidado. Que también él es pintor. He's going to go ahead and paint the tubs in the doghouse. Same color as the truck. And he's going to go ahead and spray the rest of it black. Um, bed liner, así como queríamos. So it's a one-stop shop. No sé ni cómo se me se olvidó que pues también él lo hace. Ya me lo había hecho en another truck. But with that being said, don't forget to smash that like button. Comment down your guys' opinion. Cómo creen que quedó la camioneta. What do you guys think about the new setup, the new wheels, the four link? Uh, how do you guys think it's going to turn out, the whole bed work? And do not forget the most important part to subscribe so you guys can see the rest of the truck being completed. Y pues me despido. I'll catch you guys on the next vlog. Peace.